Okay, what's up? I am in the bunker and as long promised, I am going to do a compare and contrast review of the craft gun and the protest fitness gun. Different price points, this one's about 300 and this one is about 100. Um, first thing, let's go over the handle. This one's a little bit skinnier, the craft gun's a little bit skinnier. This one's a little bit wider. Uh, this one's a little more non-slip. This one has a hook, right? The craft gun is a little bit heavier. They both come with about the same attachments and they both come with a hard shell case. Uh, the craft gun is a little bit more robust as far as the case, but they're both just fine. Craft gun, you can uh, hear. It's not super loud. It's got three speeds. And it's got a pretty aggressive punch on the massage, right? Like, it shakes my head when I'm hitting this pretty aggressively, but it also gets in pretty deep. Um, little loud, can't really watch TV with it, but you can do most other stuff. I've used this one in an airport um, and no one told me to shut it off. This is the Protest Fitness Gun. Um, turn it on on the bottom. And then this has 20 speeds. I really just shoot it up to about 10 or 15. I don't keep it super low, but you could. Um, I know my wife has used this on the dog and the dog likes it kind of low. So this is, this is the 20 speed. You can hear it's super quiet. Uh, you can watch TV and use this one. Um, when I put it on my neck, it's not as aggressive. So it's not like shaking my brain like the craft one gun does. Um, it doesn't get in quite as deep, but I'm actually okay with that. Um, sometimes the aggressiveness of the craft gun I really like. Sometimes um, I go for the protest fitness gun because of the way it feels. It's, ah, it feels good. I like using these all the way down the bicep, especially on like a grip heavier day. I'll even hit my hands, my wrists. It feels good. So this is the craft gun case. I've got it covered up with a CrossFit 262 sticker. Um, it's pretty nice. I mean, I, it's not going to last forever. And then uh, that's plugged in somewhere on the wall. Then you've got the attachments, kind of the pointed head, right? And then you've got the flat head. And then you've got this one, which is supposedly for the, the spine or the erectors. I never, never used this one a whole lot. Protest fitness gun case. Um, it's pretty much the same type. It's material on the outside instead of like a smooth outside on the craft gun. One, they're both fine. This one also comes with a charger. And then about the same attachments. You've got the circle just like the craft gun one does. This one's kind of like a little smooshier compared to the hard rubber of the craft gun one. And then this one again, which I have never really used, and then the flathead one. Um, this one's a little more plastic, where the craft gun one is a little more rubber. They're both fine. I rarely have to charge either of them. Um, the battery life on both of them is pretty darn good. Final verdict, if I had to pick one based on all things, um, including weight, feel, use, price, all that stuff, I would honestly pick the Protest Fitness Gun. Um, you know, especially if you're balling on a budget, a hundred bucks for a tool like this. So yeah, the Protest Fitness Gun is pretty dope. It works really well and it's become a part of my arsenal, a tool in the tool bag. So this is a daily for me, every single day, just sitting here getting in. And actually everybody in my family uses these now. They're good, they make you feel good, why not? All right guys. That's it, hope this helps. Just a comparative review of two tools that are about the same thing. Woo!